Hey y'all, welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today we finna get into the nit and gritty of the art of surviving high school. School is approaching and I know a good amount of people who are gonna be in their freshman year of high school in this upcoming school year. I just wanted to give y'all some tips and tricks on how to survive high school because going into my freshman year, I needed videos like this. Like I really loved watching them. So, you know, I'm an upperclassman now. I'm about to be a junior. Even though my freshman year of high school was virtual, a lot of the stuff apply for my sophomore year. So one thing to note is that high school is very different from middle school. And when I see very different, I am like low-key exaggerating, but at the same time, I'm not. High school consists of way more people, older people, who's, and like everybody is like older than you. Majority of everyone is older than you. So it can feel a little bit overwhelming, I should say. Find people who can relate to you and that have similar mindsets. That is very important. And you can also develop some really great friendships. These next four years of your life, please, 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 please try not to lose yourself. It's easy to because there are so many people with so many different personalities and you might want to try to like fit into a certain crowd but doing so you won't end up being true to yourself um they already have a them so you need to focus on becoming you try not to get behind in school all that much i know it's like people say your freshman year don't count me personally, I took my freshman year very seriously. For one, I had freshman year virtually. And so I really had to like motivate myself a lot to get a lot of my stuff done. And there were some classes that I, you know, uh, I wouldn't say slacked on, but I got like behind on like a few assignments. But even with those like small few assignments, it still was very overwhelming. And I don't know, playing catch up is just not my forte. So I just steer clear of getting behind in general. As much as I would like to say, don't procrastinate it's kind of inevitable especially as you're you know getting adjusted to high school life you know you just gotta like for some people you just have like a lot of things going on try not to try not to procrastinate try your best to you know get stuff done at a decent time um try not to have like late stuff late work or whatever try 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 to become besties with your counselors your counselors are the most important adults throughout your next four years of high school. They're in charge of your schedules. If you need anything, you should be able to depend on them. I know I really like have a really strong connection with my counselors and I'm really grateful because well, if it's anything about me and another teacher, I know that I can talk to them about it and then they'll get that. Or if it's something about me in my classes or if I need help with something about my grade or understanding something, I know that I can go to them. It'll help you in the long run. All the tips I'm about to give you on relationships can apply to both uh, friendships and romantic relationships. As selfish as it may sound, the relationships you have should benefit you. If they don't, then there's no reason to keep people around just to be lingering around because you're really just wasting your time and there's drama unnecessary. There's no reason to get into drama. There's no reason for fights. I know people like, she talking stuff about me like, uh, like, yeah, okay. Better. You know you. I just steer clear of drama. And high school, I know it's like hard because there's so many people and People are bound to talk about somebody. It just happens. Try not to take stuff too personally. And if like you don't like what somebody is saying about you, just like steer clear. Like just don't make it like this whole big deal or whatever. Um, now if it gets out of control, that is considered bullying. And I would say talk to a trusted adult about that. But also like drama, you won't know these people after those four years. So don't let them ruin those four years for you. There's no point. Hang around the right crowd. I know this like kind of reflects on back to what I said earlier about finding people with similar interests and the similar mindset as you. But to be honest, in high school, the people you hang around, it kind of defines you like as a person. And what I mean by that is like, if you hanging around like girls that's known for like talking stuff about people or fighting or being like a little bit ghetto or something like that, and people are gonna associate you with the things that they associate them as. Even if you like don't talk stuff or don't be messy or whatever the case may be. It's okay to have school friends. I know people like get in their feelings a lot about like, oh no, she only talks to me when school is in. Like that's cool. You wanna have somebody that you can talk to and not all friends are all around friends. It's okay to have school friends. It's okay to have people that you talk to in class but don't have their number so you don't talk to them over the summer or whatever. That's okay. 
that's just gonna be the way life goes for really the rest of your life you might have work friends in the future like it's that's just what it is date within your age range you know i'm not your parent so i can't like you know i'm not gonna go in on you if you're a freshman dating somebody that's a senior or a junior i don't have no jurisdiction over that but the freshmen try to stick with freshmen or sophomores uh the maturity level is really about the same. Upper classmate guys don't have anything that lower class guys can't offer you besides facial hair. Let's be honest. Moving on, watch what you post on social media. This is just like a very general and vague statement that you should be doing anyway. But I know for a lot of freshmen, sometimes what they post can like follow them throughout high school. So yeah, watch what you post. I am a teacher's pet. I enjoy it and I love it. Cause you know what? At the end of the day, guess who got the A's? I do. The first thing I do when I meet any teacher is like, I try to figure the teacher out. Figure out what kind of teacher your teacher is. Um, and what I mean by this is like, oh, if it's a teacher that you can look around with, oh, if it's a, like a serious teacher. Like once you figure out a teacher's teaching style, it'll really help you with your grades and your future is in their hands. So play nice. Please don't just be out here arguing with teachers in a classroom. Um, like, yo, yeah, you might get some laughs, but it's not benefiting you at the end of the day. I know me as I'm not saying let a teacher talk reckless to you because I know there are some teachers out there that do that kind of thing. But try to, you know, contain that and like talk to your counselor, your grade level principal, your parents so that your parent can talk to them. Please, please note that teachers are people too and they can be biased. I've seen this happen with a lot of my friends where, um, a teacher just didn't like them and you could tell you can tell you can definitely see it my advice kiss your teacher's butts be nice like do what you need to do to get on their good side because it'll really help you in the long run learn email etiquette might seem like unimportant right now but the way that you communicate with your teachers reflects a lot about the student it is a skill that you're gonna have to learn in the future as well ask questions like try not to be the person that gets behind or that is confused because they didn't ask questions nine times out of ten your teacher does want you to ask questions Fun part, extracurriculars. High school is the time to explore. Find yourself, find out what you like to do, find your interests. And honestly, if you already know what you like to do, it is gonna be a little bit easier. For extracurriculars in high school, if you know what you like, try to join stuff that you like. Um, try not to get committed to something that you're not really into or that you think will just look good on uh, college applications. Yeah, and also do your research. That's also important. Depending on what you wanna do after high school, extracurriculars may matter a little or may matter a lot. It all depends. For someone who doesn't have like a specific focus or know what they wanna do, I think it's like a good method or whatever is to join at least one leadership focused club or activity, which could either be like a DECA, student council, things like that. At least one sport, at least one having to do with the arts outside of just school extracurriculars. There are a lot of team programs all around the US specifically cater to the interests of students try to look for college prep programs and just like try to get one that aligns with your interests as well and also if you don't want to do that there's nothing wrong with exploring and trying something out because you may end up liking it and that may lead you to what you want to do in the future hope you all learned something from this video if you have any questions or need some more advice on a specific thing feel free to contact me via my social medias that'll be in the description box below feel free to leave a like comment subscribe I hope you all enjoyed the video and until next time.